I, and I do go off the high dive. But before I go off the high dive, down, you know, I mentally try to figure out how deep is the water. Is there water, first of all, in the pool? How deep is water? And I don't know what temperature it is. But I feel comfortable with that. I'm willing to take a 60-foot plunge. And uh, I don't know where I got that. But yes, I, I, I think I do. My mother convinced me. My mother convinced me that I, anything I wanted to do, if I wanted to do it bad enough, I could accomplish that. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, I'm even going to mention that tonight uh, about my mother and, and, and her inspiring me to believe that I could, I could be anything or do anything I wanted to do. And I, I, I never stopped believing that. It, so I believed in myself, and I believed in uh, if you. If you stay with something, you just stay with it, it will work. Now, that having been said, uh, if it's a stupid idea, you better be smart enough to recognize that. Okay? Mm -hmm. the, like the one movie said, buggy whips is a great business, but they don't sell today. Right. Several points. Mm -hmm. One is, I, and I did this, I would be careful not to reward myself too soon. I've watched more businesses go out under because of rewarding themselves too soon and one other factor. And the other factor is trying to grow too soon, too much too soon. They outgrow their ability of the cash flow to feed the growth. So you don't control the cash flow, don't reward yourself too soon. And they look at that uh, account and they, they lose the sight of what's the difference between cash flow and profit. And they look at that cash flow and they go, whoa, wow. Look at all this money come in. I mm -hmm. had this wonderful credit line in the bank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, use the credit line, but don't abuse it. Mm -hmm. So that's those, those two items right there. The other is, is that you literally have to believe in yourself and work toward that end and, and be focused on it. Now, the one thing that I would warn or I would try to share with every young person I know is a mistake I made that I shouldn't have made, and that is I took too much time away from my family. I think. Gail Miller told me that Larry kind of did the same thing. Um, knowing what I know now, that I could have been successful without doing that, because I missed a lot of daddy-daughter dates, I missed a lot of pre shirt outings, I missed some birthdays. I was making the equivalent of about $200,000 a year, uh, today's money. Right. With beneficial life, you mean? When I, yeah, with beneficial life when I could win. And I came home and told my wife, honey, I want to quit my job. She says, what do you want to do? And I said, I want to sell ladders. She looked at me and goes, it matters? I said, yeah. And she said, well, how much is there going to be forced to live on? I said, best I can figure, 8800 8, a year. And she said, honey, there are nine of us. You, me, and the children. There are nine of us. And I said, I know, sweetheart. And she thought for just a minute. And she literally said, well, you've never let me go hungry yet. Mm -hmm. I slept in the back of my car for three years. Uh, well, thir about... Um, 300 days a year for, for four years and mm -hmm. uh, on the road. That my wife and I both have the attitude of is that what we've been blessed with, John, is not ours. Uh, we honestly believe that everything that comes into our hands is a stewardship and it comes from, it's his mm -hmm. and he trusts me with it and someday he's going to ask me what I did with it.